Hi everyone, um, it's Connie here and I want to welcome you to watch me today. I am playing with some brand new, just released at Joggles, um, some texture plates. These are creative texture plates and these were designed by Rebecca Meyer. Um, if you've seen my videos on YouTube before, you'll see that I have played with a lot of her toys. And these by far are some of my favorites. She sent me three designs here and you can see I'm using my gel plate and some tags that I quickly cut up to use um, for this video. Now I am using them with uh, some just some simple colors to get uh, one pull. Um, I'm going to first use uh, two color mixtures and the gel plate and I'm going to put the creative text the texture plate on top of that now I'm going to try it a couple ways one where I put the impression of the texture plate directly onto the gel plate and then I'm going to do it where I roll the paint um, onto the texture plate and then do the lift with the tags or with my paper directly off of the texture plate. Um, I love using these texture plates with my gel plate because I love printing papers um, or making tags and having them on hand. Now this worked beautifully with the cardstock tags and the gel plate. I just quickly took an impression and very gently tapped it down. And once I tapped it down, um, I thought, I thought, oh, I better put, use that piece of paint. Now, if you know me, you know that I'm very eclectic and I don't like to have simple patterns on my things. So I definitely like to mix the texture plates together when I got a pull. And I love the one with the writing on it. Um, that one gave me some beautiful designs. So here I'm just going to pull a tag real quickly and see what we get. And ooh, I love it. And you can see, you can use this uh, in a variety of different ways. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep pulling some prints and um, let you watch and I'll be back in a minute. Um, for these uh, next examples, I am going to be rolling the paint directly onto the texture plate. So this is showing you that you don't have to have a gel plate if you want to make this or use these products. These products can be used standalone um, and they work with paint. I'm sure they would work with ink, but I have not tried that to be honest. Um, but they work like a rubber stamp or like any other type of a texture plate. They have that same kind of consistency. And as you can see, I'm able to pull the print nice and clearly um, directly off the texture plate. And it's real easy. You just simply roll some ink on, or the paint on there and you lightly pull it off. And I'm just cleaning off the little bits that I had left over. Now here I'm going to take this design and just give it a wipe down because I'm going to use some brighter uh, paint. I'm going to use some of this light green. And here I'm just going to roll it on the, t on the palette and again lightly roll it on here. And then I'm going to get some pulls off of it onto these tags. Now at the end of this video I will definitely do some close up photos so you can see the detail in these tags. I know this is going kind of quickly, so I want to make sure that you get to see the close-up detail um, of the imprints that I was able to get off of these texture plates. Again, these are the creative texture plates available at Joggles, and these were designed by Rebecca Meyer, and these are absolutely a must-have for anybody's art supplies. So um, I'm going to finish up here with these four tags, and then I'm gonna take, um, I have a, a cardboard canvas piece here that has some gesso on it. And I'm gonna show you that you can also use that on your gel plate. I'm just gonna take the six by six um, uh, canvas. And again, I'm gonna roll some paint directly onto my gel plate. And then I'm gonna take and put the imprint of the texture plate onto the gel plate. Boy, that's a tongue twister. And then I will pull the image or the impression directly onto my canvas. Now, this is a firm piece of 
cardboard type canvas so you're definitely going to get a different impression it doesn't have as much um, depth to the grain but it still makes a beautiful impression on here um, hold on you're gonna get to see it right here just lightly tap and then I rolling it on there just so I can get it to absorb into the um, gesso that I put on here and there you see I got a nice image I even pulled some of the dirty spots I love the dirty spots on my gel plate um, it just gives that vintage look so I'm gonna go ahead and continue on here and finish up what I'm doing and then I'll we'll show you some photos of the finished products um, if you have any questions leave them below I hope you enjoyed this thanks